I'm going to tell you how to get a job as a healthcare worker and non-healthcare workers. I'm going to try to make this video short just so we can watch the end of this video. Please, I have major points to hit in this video. So it's a good thing if you watch at the end of this video. I'm going to tell you how to apply for a job as a healthcare worker and as a non-healthcare worker, how to apply for it and get it. For you to avoid being scammed, and for you to get the appropriate job don't let anyone deceive you it is better to give you fish yes i'm here to teach you how to catch fish it is better to teach you how to catch fish than to give you fish nothing prevents me from going to the website and then copy the link and tell you apply to job here apply to this job apply to this job that means you're going to keep depending on me to keep sending you links or you are going to keep depending on other creators to keep copying links and giving you but if you watch to the end of this video you are going to understand the you are going to understand how to apply for jobs yourself and anyone giving you link will be a bonus to you so hello everyone it's queen delaine anyako here and in this video i want to tell you how you can apply for a job in the uk the easiest way for you to get jobs in the uk if you are a healthcare professional and if you are not a healthcare professional but first i am going to demonstrate how you can apply as a healthcare professional and then i am going to show you how to apply as a non-healthcare professional now when i mean non-healthcare professionals i mean like engineers cyber personnel or or tech personnel and um lecturers researchers and i'm also going to bring you more uh, employment opportunities i mean more vacancies so do remember to stick with me subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video if it's something you think another person will benefit from and without wasting much of your time because i want to be making short videos i want to make this one short as well i just hope it is a short video so my name is Queen Alina Neko. If you are seeing me for the first time, if you are coming across my channel for the first time, this, my, this is my channel. And in this channel, I talk about life in the UK, opportunities in the UK, scholarship. I made a video on scholarships. If you scroll down, you're going to see them. Just go to my YouTube channel. You're going to see loads of videos. Just scroll down and you're going to see them from the most recent one to the the late ones <laughs> from the most recent ones so here as we talked about i had a guest who spoke with me on commonwealth scholarship i've talked about how to become a radiographer how to become a physiotherapist i've made lots of videos in my channel so do take your time scroll down my channel and watch i also bring you job opportunities remote jobs and remote jobs and other job opportunities do relax subscribe and share all right without wasting much of your time let's go into it for you to apply for a job i'm going to tell you generally what you need first first of all whether as a healthcare personnel or not whether as a healthcare personnel or not you have to be sure that your job you are looking for is in the shortage occupation list yes the cop the shortage occupation list is being updated every time so this is what I have observed, okay? What I have observed from what UK do or what UK does. When they are in acute shortage of anything, for instance, like they were in acute shortage of nurses and they introduced the M nursing, they introduced the senior care visa, they introduced the health and care visa, okay? However, these healthcare professionals I'm going to talk about, they all fall under the health and care visa. So when they are in acute shortage, they try to make out a way or modify already existing visa to suit the occupation they are in shortage of. Okay? So you have to be up to date if you really want to get, um, you really have to be up to date for you to know or apply past when this kind of opportunities come up that is if you're interested in traveling for instance this senior care visas that this senior care visa that is that is being difficult now it was really really selling very well in fact nigeria is in a, in a red list and some other countries but it doesn't mean you cannot get job while in nigeria you can but you just have to do the necessary things 
and so Nigeria and generally Africans are making things really difficult I mean some people have sconded from their employer and you can imagine that if oh god I don't want to go into this there is this particular company that wanted to recruit someone and after an interview they told the person sorry you are from this country in Africa we can't take you just because you are from this particular country we can't take you because we've taken two people previously from this country and this was what they did and therefore we can't take you so imagine you're suffering the sins of others i don't want to go into detail because it's really sad okay so as i was saying you have to be up to date with the recent visas with the recent updates i made a video here i made a video here if you scroll through my channel you're going to see the um the video i made el earlier before a visa was released before a visa type was introduced even the senior care visa i made this video before the the actual recruitment of senior carers you just have to be up to date and get ready okay so what you have to do first of all is to go to the shortage occupation list for you to find out the shortage occupation list i am going to show you go to the shortage occupation list you can see the website at the top so when you go there you're going to check if the job you want is actually listed in this list check it out you're going to check now these are the current jobs in the in shortage occupation list okay health service and public health manager directors all the residential day and domiciliary care so this is where the senior carers fall into you can see they are here so chemical scientists biological scientists physical scientists all these scientists i made a video on scientific training scientist training program which is free in the uk you can start now to start applying for it check my youtube channel for more details so these are you can see web design and development professionals all job england scotland wales and northern ireland and the salary requirement is by the side you can see the salary requirement by this side so this is a salary you are supposed to meet up to this is countries that they need there are ones that they don't need scotland for there are ones they need in scotland there are ones they don't need in england so you just have to check the countries that need them okay after checking you even see arts see art officers producers and directors graphic designers all these are in the shortage occupation list okay so go through them you're going to find it i'm trying to give you a general note after you have found jobs in shortage occupation list the next thing you have to do is start looking for employment employment which i'm still going to tell you about the next thing you have to do is to go to track.job this track.job is a general website for recruitment in the uk nhs this is for nhs jobs okay so if you're looking for healthcare jobs you're looking for job in the healthcare setting either as a health uh, driver in the healthcare as an engineer in the healthcare as um internet um person in the healthcare as anything in the healthcare especially in the nhs please this is website you should go to track the job they are very reliable now when you get to track the job you have to sign in i have made a video on this like i've basically made most of these videos if we scroll down you're going to see it but i'm going to give a summary so because i have an account all i have to do is log in but if you haven't got an account it will ask you to sign up all right so i'm going to log in when you log in you are seeing eight applications <laughs> I am not the so you're not the only one that has been applying for jobs. Okay, so go to search jobs, job search. Then when you get to job search, so we are not talking about nurses. So you go to all the healthcare, depending on what you want to do now. So we're going to if it's emergency service, medical and dental for doctors, allied health professionals. So all other healthcare workers, they are allied healthcare professionals. Okay. 
So when you come here, you go to the occupation that you want. Chaplaincy, podiatrist, clinical, psychologist, counselors, physiotherapists, diagnostic and therapeutic radiography. So if you're a radiographer, this is where you should be. Dietitian, occupational therapist, ophthalmologist, orthopedist, physiotherapist, play specialist, all these social work, speech and language therapists, theater practitioners. So go to the one you want. So let's say we want dietitians. So you put dietitians. So when you come to band, we are always starting from band five. So you click on band five, or you can go to band four if you want, but it's band five. So if you want to search in the whole of UK, just click on search. But if you want a specific location, which is more reason you have to watch my next video because I'm going to upload hospitals recruiting people from outside the UK internationally. So you get to the location. So let's say Bedfordshire. You put Bedfordshire. If you have any organization, Bedfordshire Hospital NHS Foundation, because there are private and there are um, public. So public is usually NHS and private. There are private centers. So you apply Cambridge Share, Central and Northwest London, East East London. East London, by the way, they recruit internationally. So you go to no matching jobs we have found. So what it means is that there is no job here. So you live here. But if I put nothing here now, you're going to see plenty of jobs. So let's go to or any location in the UK and search. So we have plenty. You see registered vaccinator, central, registered healthcare practitioner. So you see we have lots and loads of them. Then you click and apply. So let's try for physiotherapists. Band 5. So this is it for physiotherapists. You can see them plenty. And what you have to do is to look for ones that are recruiting from outside the UK. When you get to the job, you're going to search for people recruiting from outside the UK. So the thing you should be looking at is, you should be looking at people that offer sponsorship. So when you're looking for jobs, scroll down this job when you open it, scroll down, check if they have sponsorship, if they give sponsorship. Now, that is how to get job as a healthcare professional. This is generally how you're going to look for your jobs. Now, if you are not a healthcare practitioner, this is what you should do. I think I should just put everything here because it's a short video. If you're not a healthcare worker, so what you have to do is, depending on your field, for instance, there was a job offer I posted on researchers. So depending on your field, if you're looking for lecturing jobs, looking for research jobs, you should look for universities. So you should type universities that are recruiting. You should search for vacancies in universities that you want. There is one in Edinburgh University, so you can try that. Then, you have to check the requirements, okay? Check the requirements. And when you get the requirements, then you apply for the job. If you don't have the requirement, don't waste your time because you're not going to get it. Just work towards getting whatever it is they need. So that is it. Depending on your job, on your depending on the type of job you're looking for. Now for teachers, yes, you can employ teachers, but you need just like nurses, we need NMC registration. As a nurse, you need to also get registration, but make sure you are registered with your country's teachers board another um for engineers you should look for in fact generally when you're looking for a job in the uk you have to look for places that are likely to employ people like you so if you're an engineer if you are a civil engineer you should be looking at construction companies so you don't need someone to tell you that the thing is that some people are looking for someone to copy link and give them you can do these researches that's why i'm making this video so that you don't 
it's good to tell you how to catch fish and you catch fish yourself and stop depending on people and stop relying on people to send you links and stop falling for scams okay if you're a civil engineer you know where you should be applying you know where you expected to work if you're a cyber person you're a tech person you know where you should be applying you know where you should be applying so stop falling for scam that one is annoying stop falling for scam i know it's not your fault people are here to just take advantage of people others but you don't have to fall for that okay so these are how you have to get your job now for healthcare workers who are not nurses you have to get your own registration so on a general note know that you need a certain level of registration for you to be able to practice not just in the uk it's everywhere i'm from nigeria even in nigeria before you can work as a nurse you need to be licensed so it's a common sense that you need to be before you practice as a radiographer you need to be you need to be licensed even in nigeria for you to work as anything you need to be licensed so so all these jobs that need registration and license you have to make sure you get them if you don't get them you have to work towards getting them that way you are able to get your job and when you are applying please and please look for those ones that are recruiting from overseas then the next thing you have to do when you find when you found a company recruiting the next thing you should do is there is a list of companies with rights to recruit outside the uk i bet you didn't know that now there are there is a book or a record for companies so if i have a company and the home office home office is in charge of visa to uk they're in charge of they know they are the one that issue visa to you to come to the uk so they are the one to give license to a company to recruit you to come to the uk so this is what you should do all right what you should do is you when you see a company recruiting this is for you to be careful don't fall for scam when you see a company recruiting all you have to do is take the company's name and go to gov.uk when you go to gov.uk search uh, um, companies with license to recruit or search for companies that are licensed to give certificate of sponsorship search for companies that are licensed to give certificate of sponsorship when you search for this com this list when you type it you're going to see the list from a to z of people that are licensed to give certificate of sponsorship if the company you are trying to apply to are not in that list don't waste your time you heard me don't waste your time because even if you meet up with the criteria even if they say you are employed they cannot bring you to the uk unless they are bringing you through an agent and it means that that agency must have got the license to bring you in so for you not to waste your time this is what i used to do i'll go to the list of companies with license to give cos when i go to this list i've seen them so what i do is i take their name go to my browser search their company when i search for the company i will go to when i search for the company i will go to career or go to jobs when you get to jobs <laughs> when you go to jobs you're going to now see how to apply you're going to see the vacancies they have and then you apply if this company they are not in that list don't apply don't apply and don't give anybody money don't give anybody money to apply anything for you no don't do it otherwise they're going to scam you they'll take your money so i prefer it's good i teach you how to do this than for you to fall victim again even if this company is recruiting and they are not in shortage occupation list even if this company uh, they are licensed to recruit from overseas they are licensed to give certificate of sponsorship and they are, your job is not in the shortage occupation list they will not say recruit you so there are three basic things i have talked about in this video number one is to make sure your job in the shortage occupation list 
Number two is for you to apply in the appropriate sector. If you are tech, look for tech company. If you are healthcare, look for healthcare company. If you are engineer, look for engineering company. Then the last one is to make sure that the company you are applying to have the license to give you certificate of sponsorship. They pay really well to get that certificate of sponsorship. And before you, um, home office will give a company license to give certificate of sponsorship, they must have scrutinized such companies. So you see, that is why not everyone offers certificate of sponsorship. Because you must have met up with some things. You should be able to pay a certain amount. It's not like you are bringing someone to the UK and you are not able to pay the minimum wage. I mean, nobody, you are joking. So, these are the things they meet up with for them to even get this license. So, I hope this was helpful. Please share this video to someone who may need it. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I remain Queen Elena Nyako.